Welcome to the Tube Laser Show. Today we speak about the new features of the latest Bytube 130. This machine is the perfect solution for those companies that are approaching the Tube Laser business for the first time and are looking for a fast, precise, user-friendly and flexible machine. But let's talk about flexibility first. The Bytube 130 ranges from 10 to 130 mm or 5 inch imperial and can process all standard closed sections. The tubes are loaded automatically from the bundle loader positioned in the back side of the machine or one by one from the front side of the machine. But what is important here? The machine covers the entire range of diameter without any setup. And when I say no setup, I really mean the machine requires no manual intervention of the operator for switching from one production to the next one. Only the change of the nozzle um, is manual, but this takes only a few seconds. This makes the Byte U130 extremely flexible and productive, because no time spent in setup means more time for cutting. Byte U130 is equipped with fiber laser source up to 3 kW and is able to manipulate tubes up to 17 kilos per linear meter equals to 11 pounds per foot. This makes the machine also very capable and ideal for job shops. With the maximum laser power, it's possible to cut up to 12 mm half inch mild steel, and for low thickness, it's possible to achieve cutting speeds up to nearly 20 meters per minute. This is very high potential speed, but please keep in mind the speed is nothing if the tube is not controlled during the process. The challenge here is to assure the maximum cutting precision during the high dynamics acceleration and rotation, especially when the tube is small and subjected to problems like wobbling, twisting and bending. The solution to this problem that we offer is the laser scan. And here we have Davide to help us with this feature. Davide, can you please show us how the laser scan works? With pleasure. We will cut the same part on a square profile without the laser scan and with the laser scan. And we will check together the results. We first cut it without the laser scan. The part is cut in 11 seconds. Now I activate the laser scan on the by vision tube interface and we are going to cut the same part. As you can see, the laser scan is really scanning the profile before cutting a feature to compensate in real time the possible bending or twisting problem. Every scanning process takes around half a second, so the impact on the cutting time is very low. The part with the laser scan took 13.5 seconds, including the, the marking, so 2.5 seconds more than the part without the laser scan. At first sight, the two parts look identical, but we know that for some tube application, also the tenth of a millimeter can really make the difference. Davide, can you please show us the results? Sure. We first start with the part cut without the laser scan. As you can see, the average error on the part without laser scan is over plus minus 0.1 millimeter. And as expected, the part cut with the laser scan has a maximum error or plus minus 0.02 millimeter. This is a huge benefit. Of course, here the parts are short and the material is very good. But obviously the laser scan is very efficient also with long parts and poor quality material. So we have seen the Byte T130 with laser scan can assure very high accuracy of every feature in every cutting situation. But what if the customer is mainly focused on speed? For the speed lovers, we have the quick cut, which can increase the speed cutting up to 10%. That looks very promising. And the quality of the cut is very good. Can you please show us how the quick cut works? Sure. The quick cut is the linear redundancy of the bistroning cutting head. When the movement of the tube is interpolated with the linear movement of the head, 
the machine reaches its maximum performance and this reduces the cutting time up to 10% with thin material and 3 kilowatt fiber laser. And this is the use of the quick cut in the performance mode. That looks fantastic. Is there any other function of the quick cut? Yes, the quick cut can be used in the quality mode for small profile. When the tube is very small, like in this piece, the high dynamics of the machine introduce vibration and wobbling, and this usually generates a decrease of the cutting quality. To control this problem, the quick cut in quality mode moves the head over the tube without moving the tube itself and this cancels the vibration problem. Davide, can you please show us how the quick cut quality mode works in the machine? Sure. And so, we are at the end of our demo. Today we have seen the flexibility of the Byte 130 we have seen the precision with the laser scan, the speed with the quick cut in performance mode, the high quality with the quick cut in quality mode. I hope you liked what you've seen. From Davide and Davide, thank you very much for watching us. Thank you.